Hi guys! So we're going to be doing affordable makeup today, thank god, and we're going to be priming with the Maybelline Master Prime and the Blair Plus the Smooth, and we're going to be putting that all on the face, especially in the T-zone because that's where you have the pores that you want to smooth out with the primer. And I actually do like this primer. It's not really mattifying, which I would like, but that's okay. Then I'm going in with the Lumi Cushion by L'Oreal in the shade W8 and using my Morphe M439 brush and just buffing that all around the face. And it really gives an airbrush finish. And then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 30 Light Medium. I'm putting that under the eyes, on the chin, on the forehead, and a little bit down the nose. And this is actually a really good concealer. And I'm blending out with a damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender and priming the eyelids while I do that. Probably could have got a little bit of a darker shade, but that's okay. I like a little light to me. And then I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm using that banana shade to set under the eyes with the Morphe G35 brush. I'm blowing out all the kickback because it is powdery, but I do like how that banana shade comes out. <laughs> and then I'm hitting the chin and under the eyes, forehead, and the nose, and just setting all the light places with that light powder. And then I carve out a little bit under my contour a little bit. And I decided I wanted a little bit more banana um, in my life, so I used the Ulta Press Setting Powder in the shade Banana. And I put that in the same spots. And then I got Air Spun, which you can get at Walmart. And I'm just setting the rest of the face with a big fluffy brush, so my bronzer and contour goes on a little bit more easily. And then I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm just going on top and then I go on bottom and then I just do flicking up motions in like hair like ways. And then I didn't have a cheap or like affordable bronzer, not cheap. So this is the one thing that I am using to, that is expensive. And this is the Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Medium to Tan. And I'm putting it in the hollows of my cheeks and making it really bronzy because I want this look to be bronzy and glowy. And then I'm putting it on the other side of the cheek. And just a little bit more, you know. And then on the forehead to bring some bronziness to the forehead and make my forehead appear a little bit smaller. And then I'm going in with the Milani Luminoso powder blush and that's going to bring a real radiant blush glow to the cheeks because I did say I want this to be bronzy and glowy and I love this blush it's amazing and then I'm getting my Morphe Fall into Frost palette which is affordable I love this palette it's only about $22 for all of the shades and I'm spraying my face with some setting spray fix plus to be exact and I'm going to be dipping into those three shades that I showed you and I'm using that as my highlight, which I do all the time. You can use any shimmery eyeshadow that you want as your highlight and it can really broaden up your highlight game. And then for my eyes, I'm using that matte bronzy orangey shade into my crease and transitioning that with a Morphe fluffy blending brush and I just want that to like peek out and make my eyelid really warm on both sides and that's with the M30 the Morphe 350 matte and then I'm getting that bronzy shade and that shimmer palette and just wetting a little bit with my saliva and throwing that into the lid because it's just like the perfect bronzy shade just 
doing that to the other eye. And then I'm get, grabbing that same color and just wiping out the any harsh line that I created with that wet shimmer color. And then going back into the 350 matte and picking up that brown terracotta darker shade and getting a Morphe crease brush and just putting it a little bit lower than that first transition shade just to add some depth into the eye look and into the crease. And then I'm grabbing the Morphe Mama Drama palette and I'm getting that white satiny, a little bit of shimmer, barely any shimmer, and putting that on the brow bone just to lift up the brow a little bit and create some light there. And it'll help blend that shade. And then I'm getting this, the star of the show, the Sephora um, waterproof eyeliner in the shade Summer Cruise. And this is our pop of blue. And we're putting that all in the waterline. And that's why we kept our lid neutral so this blue could really pop. And then to make that blue pop even more, we're getting that charcoal color in a definer brush and pushing that on the lash line a lower than that blue. See how that blue just pops? Like, bam! Yes! Yeah, so that's just gonna pop. And putting that in there, and then grabbing that Nautica shade by Makeup Geek, and getting that crease brush, and just buffing out that charcoal color that we put in there with a little bit of blue to make the blue pop even more. And then I'm grabbing my NYX 2 timer in the felt tip and doing my wing, just drawing a base across and then going up and then a little bit down and then drawing a line and then filling in the triangle. I'm a perfectionist with this, so this probably actually took me like 10 minutes, but it's fine. And then I put on L'Oreal Volumizing Carbon Black Mascara off camera, and then I'm grabbing my ColourPop uh, Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Trap, and I'm putting that on because I just love the purpley shade, that like lilac shade with the blue. And I could have just left it like this. I was just like kind of looking at myself, feeling it out. Wasn't really sure. Could have just left it like this, but I did because I'm extra. Yep. There we go. I'm like, huh. Eh. Wasn't sure. Wanted to have gloss on my lips because it was bronzy, so I got the TARDIS Double Tap Glossy Lip Paint. And I put that all over. And that's the final look. So I hope you guys liked it. Please like this and comment and please subscribe if you have not already. And that is all. Love you. Bye guys.